you guys, 131 subscribers. I never in a million years imagined so many people would follow my crazy life. My heart. And I know in YouTube land, 131 subscribers is nothing, literally. But I am not worried about that. I am here to have a good time, to do the things that I love, and I want to thank you all so much for joining me in that journey. I see you, and I feel the love. So, today's little project is once again something being done to my hair. It's like an addiction. I can't stop. I don't necessarily even want to either. So, I'm just gonna just keep going. You only live life once. And it is just hair. So you might as well just have a good time with it. So today, I'm going to be starting the journey of going blonde to then therefore go pastel. But in order to achieve a pastel, I have to be a certain level of blonde. And this is like a, a light auburn strawberry mess. So, I am expecting that I'm going to have to bleach my hair a few times. And I know bleach is harsh and it will be a very sad day if I have to chop this all off, but I believe that I have found a way to maintain my hair's health while also achieving what I want to achieve. So, before we get started, I'm going to throw on this shirt that I use for hair dyeing and stuff. And since we're gonna be using bleach, I prefer not to get it everywhere if I can help it. So before we get started with the bleaching portion of this journey, I am going to slather coconut oil in my hair. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes so my hair can soak it up and be happy and healthy and moist. moist. Coconut oil I'm using is it's just a regular organic coconut oil. I think I got this from Earth Fair, um, Whole Foods, Kroger, Walmart, a grocery store, whatever, organic. Coconut oil. Yeah, so I put a little bit into, well, put a few spoonfuls of it into a little bowl, and then I popped it in the microwave for a few seconds so it could melt. You can also grab a whole bunch in your hands and your hands' natural heat will melt it also. So I'm going to apply this to my hair, let it sit, and then begin the bleaching. It doesn't have to necessarily be completely saturated with coconut oil, just enough that the strands of your hair will be somewhat protected from the harshness that is bleach. So I've just applied the bleach to my hair. It's processing a little bit. Um, I had recorded it, but the camera decided to freak out and shut off on me like it has done in the past. So the bleach that I got is L'Oreal's Quick Blue. 
I got this from Amazon. Um, not quite sure how much it was, I don't remember. But Sally's, I think, has the same thing. Um, Walmart probably does too. But Amazon, great place. Um, inside the bag, and also you get a little scoop thing. Oh, also I've got a 30 volume developer from Sally's. And from my research, I learned that there's many different levels of developer. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, and probably more or so. Um, but the higher the developer, the quicker the process, but the more damaging to your hair. So, but because we're trying to avoid damage, I decided to go with the 30 volume developer. I could have gone with the 20, but I felt like I would have had the bleach on my hair longer with the 20 and I don't want, I didn't want the bleach to be on my hair longer than it had to be. And so the recipe is a ratio of two to one, two parts developer, one part bleach, or one to two, one part bleach. Anyways, yay math. After mixing, it came out the consistency of uh, like melted whipped cream. A recent video I watched explained that the mixing process is one of the most important processes with bleaching your hair because you don't want any lumps. Any lumps. You want it to be smooth and well mixed and everything. Lumps in it will make streaks happen in your hair and will make the application process be uneven and so mix it thoroughly. So currently bleach is on the lower half of my hair. Previously processed hair, such as the lower half of my hair, will take more time to lighten than virgin unprocessed natural hair, such as what is my roots. So that's why I've only applied the bleach to this section of my hair. The bleach has been in my hair for about 10 minutes now, um, so I'm going to start applying it to the root section. But because I'm going for this look, I am not going to go all the way to my scalp. I'm not going to cover my whole head in bleach because I want a like dark rooted ombre pastel looking situation and stuff. So I'm only going to go a little, a little ways up in my hair and I'm not doing it in a straight line. You want, you don't want a straight line you're doing, especially with the ombre type look. You want levels for dimension. I'm also going backwards up the, my hair too, because that will kind of tease it, which will also help create the different levels and stuff. Also, not sure if I have said this, but I am not a professional, clearly. All right, so now we process for a few more minutes and then wash it out. So I got the bleach all washed out. I didn't do anything else with it, I just washed the bleach out. Um, I do have Shimmer Lights purple shampoo for toning, so whenever I wash my hair fully, I will use that. I also got the Wella T18 Color Charm uh, toner, um, but I'm not going to use it quite yet. I'm going to wait until I do the process at least one more time before I tone it and see where I'm at. Um, with that, but this is what it looks like. Not quite as different as it was, um, just a little bit lighter, which is fine. My hair still 
heels like hair, so I think we're okay. The ends are lighter and there's a few, a few sections that are definitely lighter than before. But I, this is what I expected, um, so I'm gonna be doing it again in about a week, give my hair a break a little bit. I don't want to, I wanna keep my hair. So since I've acquired patience, hopefully things will turn out good. See you guys in a week.